you can turn ChatGPT into pretty much anything now. From giving it a custom design, connecting it to Spotify, and literally having a verbal conversation with it. Hi there. So let me show you the top 10 ways you can hack your ChatGPT and take it to the next level. Okay, so straight off the bat, the official ChatGPT app is now out on Android and iOS, but there is so much more you can do using the desktop version. So open up Chrome, because the first thing we've got to do is search for a plugin called WebChatGPT. It's the first link, and if you click on that, go ahead and add this to your Chrome browser. Now when you head back to ChatGPT, you'll see this little switch that you can toggle on and connect straight to Google. So now you can ask it just about anything, even current events like why Elon Musk changed changed Twitter to X and it'll go do the research for you and then reply. Or like what new rumors or leaks are there about the new iPhone 15. There's also a bunch of other really cool things you can do with this extension, especially when you go and Google something like, is iPhone really better than Samsung? It seems to scan all the research results and then comes up with its own logical answer based off of what it found. But honestly, this little hack is nothing compared to what I have for you guys at the end. Now to move on to the next hack, and for this one, you'll need ChatGPT4, but trust me, it is totally worth it. Then under your profile, just click on settings, beta features, and right over here, toggle on plugins. Now in a new chat, head to the plugin store and search for a plugin called Playlist AI. Once you've installed it, you can then ask ChatGPT something like, create a playlist of the greatest hits from the 2000s. It'll then take that prompt and generate a list of songs for you, but more importantly, it'll create a link which will take you directly into Spotify where it automatically created a playlist based on what you asked. This can be crazy useful when you're bored of your usual songs, maybe you need a party playlist or some fresh recommendations. You can then share that playlist with anyone you want or even team up with someone to build a slick playlist and add more songs. Kind of like how I teamed up with Surfshark VPN to make this video because there's something really cool you can do with it and ChatGPT but I'll show that to you guys a bit later. So for this next hack, if you go back into Chrome and download an extension called ChatSonic, here's what it looks like. And once you've added that extension, check this out. If you go into your emails and reply to someone, you'll see this brand new tool where you can briefly type out what you'd like your reply to be, then choose a tone like negative or positive, click reply and verbam ChatSonic that uses ChatGPT will instantly write an email reply for you in just a few seconds. But it gets even crazier because you can use ChatSonic to compose an entire email. Once you've typed out roughly what you'd like your mail to include, once again select a tone, then just hit the right button and it'll compose an entire email for you with that specific tone in mind. But just make sure you give it a read over in case you're using it with your boss or something and don't want to get caught. And there is still so much more you can do with it. For example, within X, aka Twitter, you can actually get it to write out tweets for you. For example, my coworker likes to eat tuna sandwiches before meetings. Choose your tone, then hit that write button and you will get a pretty sweet tweet. But there are even more places you can use this in, like the YouTube comment section, for example, or even Google Docs, where you can get it to write and do your work for you pretty much anywhere on the internet. So now, if you think about it, you can pretty much use ChatGPT anywhere. Now this next ChatGPT plugin is actually one of my favorites and it's called Workout Generator. Once you've installed it inside a new chat, you can give it some of your health stats, but then ask it to create a workout plan for you based on your goals. And in a couple of seconds, it'll create a super detailed workout plan for you, but also great pictures to see what muscles you're targeting. You can also get these really detailed videos on how to do the different workouts, which comes in super handy, especially to someone who's just starting out. I mean, this takes ChatGPT to the next level. Now onto something really fun, if you head back into Chrome extensions and search for a plugin called Botrush, once you've installed it, back inside ChatGPT, you'll notice this new box where you can do a couple of things, but more importantly, within settings, you can actually customize and change the appearance of your ChatGPT. So you can do a few things like change it to multiple different colors. There are so many different options to choose from and I personally think this looks so cool. Plus you can choose from a ton of different fonts and whether you want a dark or light mode and this just looks so cool. In total, there are around 832 different combinations you could get with this. So just go wild and create whatever style gets you chatting with it. 
Okay, so you know how you get documents that you have to read for hours on end, or you're busy doing research for work or an assignment, but your deadline is up? Well, this extension called ChatGPT Summary for Chrome is gonna save you a ton of time. And once you've added it to your Chrome, how it works is let's say you're watching a video on YouTube. If you hit that icon, it'll instantly start making a brief summary of basically what the video is all about. And if you head into its settings, you can even change the initial prompt it uses for summarizing. So if you wanted it to be a bit more detailed, you could just change it. But where this extension really shines is with super long articles like these. It just breezes right through them and gives you the most important points in no time. So ChatGPT is slowly getting better at making jokes, but you can kick it up a notch by getting this meme creator plugin. All you gotta do is turn it on and I mean, I'm pretty sure you can imagine what it does next. What you do is ask it to create a meme for you, like I use the classic iPhone versus Samsung, hit send and ChatGPT will then use the plugin to create an original meme. And honestly, the memes it comes up with can actually be quite hilarious. And another cool thing is that if you wanted to, you can actually right click on the image, save it and send to your friends. But besides turning ChatGPT into your own personal meme generator, there's still so much more you can get it to do. Okay, so this next plugin called Show Me Diagrams is so cool and definitely takes your ChatGPT up a level. Once you've turned it on inside a new chat, just ask ChatGPT to show you how to do something. For example, I asked it how to become a millionaire in five years. It then uses the Show Me Diagrams plugin to actually draw out and generate a visual diagram of the steps you need to take. I mean, besides asking it for something like this, it can actually come in really handy, especially if you're a visual thinker like me and want to quickly find out how to do things like how to change a car tire or maybe even how to learn a language language in a few steps. And another similar plugin that can be even more useful is this one called Diagram, which comes in really handy if you have a lot of information like all the world's most popular pies. What I can now do is ask ChatGPT to take this information and turn it into a pie chart. So by using this plugin, ChatGPT literally took my pie information and turned it into a pie chart and even a bar graph. And if I click on this, it opens up a much more detailed view of the pie chart as well as the bar graph. So cool. So believe it or not, you can actually play games inside ChatGPT. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but you can play games like chess and even tic-tac-toe. Once you've added the plugins within the prompt, just say you wanna start a beginner level game of chess and just like that, it throws up a game board and asks for your move. And then it's up to you to output the super intelligent AI. Easy. And the reason why this is so cool is you can ask ChatGPT how to play and to help you to get better, kind of like a real professional chess player. And the same goes for a quick game of tic-tac-toe. Just ask it to play and it'll load it up for you, which is actually kind of perfect, especially when you get bored of chatting to it. But now let's move on to the best hack for ChatGPT. So this has got to be one of the coolest things you can do with ChatGPT and it's called Talk to ChatGPT. It's a completely free Chrome extension and once you've installed it back in a new chat, you'll notice this little box. Now just select it and start chatting. Hello, how can I assist you today? As you can see, whenever you talk, it is automatically typed in for you, then ChatGPT will actually respond back. But it gets even crazier because if you go onto a website called 11labs.io, then sign up for a free account, but click on your profile. Here, you can then copy this API key. Now, it seems confusing, but it's actually really simple. And all you do back inside ChatGPT is enable 11labs and paste in your API key. Then you can select any one of these voices, and I went with Emily. And now I can just say, hey, ask me a question. Sure, what do you love to do? I love to make mind-blowing AI videos. That's cool. What's your favorite AI? Well, at the moment, you are. Aw, oh, thanks. I mean, this is just absolutely nuts. And it's as if you're talking to an actual real person. But what's even more insane is that if you go back, you can choose from around 38 different voices and every single voice sounds so good. You can even give me this whisper voice if you really wanted to. 
So most of these hacks make ChatGPT amazing, but it still has a few problems. Like if you ask it for a list of movies, you probably won't have some of them on Netflix in your country. Or worse, some works and schools straight up completely block ChatGPT. I mean, that just sucks, but there's actually a way to get around these problems by using a VPN like Surfshark. So whenever ChatGPT recommends me a movie, Surfshark can pretty much give me Netflix's entire library. And I can also use ChatGPT even if the Wi-Fi or the country I'm in has blocked it. But honestly, there are so many more other uses for Surfshark. If your school or work Wi-Fi have blocked websites like Facebook or YouTube, for example, you can still use them with Surfshark, which can come in super handy. And what's absolutely bonkers is that a month of Surfshark is not only cheaper than a cup of coffee, Ow. but it's also safer. So if you decide to give it a go, you can use code HAILS for a discount and for three months free. And if for some reason it doesn't do the job for you, you can just cancel in the first 30 days and get your money back simple and risk-free. AI just keeps getting bigger and better. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!